Welcome back guys, in this video I'm going to go through the 5 mistakes that I made when I started trading Forex. So these 5 mistakes made Forex way harder than they should have been and when I look back it's like oh these are such simple mistakes but really it takes a journey to find out what type of mistakes you're going to make and that's why I want to make this video to talk about the 5 mistakes that I made and hopefully that can help you to make sure that you either don't make these mistakes or you're not going to make these mistakes right. But that's the plan to talk to you guys about the 5 mistakes that I made and to make sure that you guys don't make them and that will send you on the right path the right journey and hopefully being profitable and consistent because that's the goal here and with that being said let's get straight into the video all right guys as always you know the youtube business leave a like and subscribe if you're new and you probably need to watch the whole video if you're going to subscribe but i understand that there's plenty of free value on my channel i really concentrate on providing the highest quality of content to help you guys progress in trading if you want to be part of a free discord community that's really safe ask questions get updates definitely join that down below it's well worth it it's free so definitely consider that and follow my instagram because i'm posting a lot of content there to help you guys when you're watching it on a rush so make an effort and follow me on there i'd really do appreciate it doing giveaways giveaways are done on that instagram so that being said let's get straight into the video so i'm gonna start with the first biggest mistake which is expectations when i started trading my expectations were stupid i thought within the first six months i can start making easily 10k per month it will be easy it will take me two months to learn three months to increase risk and that's it i'll be making 10k per month easy that's super simple when in reality i didn't even see profitability until one year you have to set realistic expectations this is a journey this is a skill you launch a business it takes two years for that business to see profits can you become profitable in three months 100 percent yes you can become profitable with the right guidance but then it's a journey and a manage of your own stress to try increase risk based on your financial standpoint to get to the next stage and the next stage so the number one thing is the five mistakes i made is i set really unrealistic expectations and that made me feel like i'm doing way worse than i was actually doing and that made me then try to question what i'm doing and look to do other things i'm going to transition to that number two is because when i questioned myself okay uh, this is not working let me try something else what's the time period two months three months after something doesn't work for a month i gave up why because the people who i was digesting information from were not reputable they couldn't prove to me hey you need to give this time you need to trust this strategy for a while for it to work they were making it look easy they were trying to teach you this teach you that and you were digesting information information you get lost and then you're like if it's working for them why is it not working for me you get lost in the information and it became really hard for you to be able to find a strategy because what happens is is that you basically keep changing and you don't give it enough time it's like imagine starting a new business every three months in the same industry obviously that's going to be worse than sticking to one business so make sure that you find someone who can give you something reputable and you can trust and then you have to work on that focus on that learn that and stick to that and block out any other noise because any other noise is going to hold you back and i find that so many traders get stuck with that point is that they just keep trying to train strategy right so that's going to lead me on to point number three and for point number three i want to take you guys to the chart so what's in front of us we have candles there's some form of support and resistance, right? If you can draw a line anywhere on the chart, it's going to form some form of support and resistance. There's some form of trend, and that's all we have. And my strategy did not follow those key principles. If your strategy is not following these key principles, you'll have a high chance to fail this because we have to trade what's in front of us. So that's what I found out. I'm like, okay, fine. What are other people doing that I'm not is that they're keeping things simple as possible. The simpler you keep things, the better you can trade, but you have to make a system that actually does work. So it has to have some sort of complexity to it, but it should be trading based of logic because that's what is in front of us. We're never going to be as good as the banks. We're never going to be uh, better than retail traders. That's our job. We are just retail traders. So let's focus on what's in front of us, the structure, the market structure, and build something around that, right? Focus on candles and make sure that what I'm trading makes sense. And that's the last mistake is that what are you trading doesn't make sense to you because I can look at a chart now and it makes sense to me. But when I started, 
it still didn't make sense. One guy would say something, another guy would say something else, and all of that did not make sense to me because one guy would contradict the other. So I make sure, and that was the mistake I made, is that what I'm learning and what's in front of me makes sense. If it doesn't make sense, it shouldn't make sense in the beginning, that's totally fine. But in the future, it should definitely start to make sense. So you have to pick something that comprehends well in your head. And it's as simple as that. And that's really step number three is trade something that is simple, right? Because the, the least variables we have, as I always say, the least chance you have to fail. And that is played true. And that is why you're able to build a logical process that works, right? So trade what's in front of you and what's in front of you are the charts. And if you can't make sense of the charts, it's a high chance you're going to fail in trading, right? So that's basically that point. Let's go on to the next point. Point number four is one of the biggest things, which is not practicing your trades. You have to practice taking trades. You simply can't just rock up to the charts, learn a strategy and start making profit. You have to backtest and practice. It's like going to play a match in a famous sport and never taking a practice session. It's not realistic. Trading works the same way. You have to practice what you do. You have to practice taking trades, build data, prove to yourself that this works and this is going to help you with your psychology because what's going to happen is you're going to prove to yourself that yeah, this system actually works. I can trust it in the live markets. And if you don't have that, you're going to hesitate and you're going to have psychological issues when it comes to trading because you don't have enough proof in front of you. The strategy has not proved to your brain that this actually works. And that's going to be a huge issue for you and is going to hold you back in trading. And it's something that held me back a lot is that I just went to a strategy, tried it immediately live markets, right? Last but not least is giving it time. I know this seems like a simple one, but I want to wrap it up with this one because this is a simple video. It's a, some quick tips here. I can't explain to you how important it is to give trading time. The equation I like to use is time x volume equals a skill. So it's the amount of time and the amount of work you put together equals the skill. But those two variables have to be there. There has to be time and work. You can't sacrifice one for the other. It does not work like that. You, you can't condense things because you have to learn over time. And in the beginning, I was rushing too fast. And when I didn't see results, I felt like this is not working. At one point, I was even questioning, this doesn't make sense to me. How are people doing this so easily when I'm here struggling? And that's what really you need those scenarios to make you take a step back and say, hey, actually, no, I said something correct. What are other people doing that I'm not doing that's making them more successful in this, right? And that's the realization you need to form. So give it time. You will have these moments. You will have moments where you constantly and slowly progress. Focus on achieving the small goals in order to reach the big goals. So give it time. Once you give it time, you will start to see that time that you give start to pay you and start to reward you and that is a very important factor that people can't overlook so that's number five and i really hope that this video has helped you guys i appreciate you guys for showing up and watching this video it's a quick video nothing crazy and just something to give you some five tips so i hope that this has helped and maybe you can relate to some of this and let me know in the comments below if it has helped that being said take care trade sharp and until next time peace